Hello and welcome back to ITSM 101. This week we continue our video series on enterprise service management as we dive deeper into how ITSM can be used by other business functions. So firstly, there are a number of commonly adopted ITSM processes and technologies that can be used by other business functions such as HR and facilities. These include incident management, that's dealing with employee issues, ensuring that the appropriate solutions are delivered as quickly as possible. Service request fulfillment, that's handling requests for new or changed services efficiently. Change management, handling changes to services or operations, minimising risk and optimising the speed of change. Problem management, that's preventing repeat issues from occurring and the associated impact. Self-service, employee access to self-help, online incident logging, service request catalogues, status checking and more. Knowledge management, to support both service desk agents and employees in quickly getting to the required information or solution. Service catalogue management, not just the service catalogue technology, but also the policies and processes that are needed to successfully deliver the capability. Service level management, from service level agreements and targets through to ongoing dialogues about operational performance and future business needs. Asset management, this could be facilities, physical assets, or the items of value held by employees, such as security passes or credit cards and chat, which is now a common customer support expectation of service providers. But enterprise service management is not just about ITSM process adoption. While some still think of ITSM and ITIL as merely the service delivery and IT support processes they use, or what they use their ITSM tool for, the ITIL service lifecycle offers so much more. It uses service thinking to provide a cradle to grave approach to managing IT services, and there's no reason why the ITIL service lifecycle can't also be applied to these other business functions. So, looking to the five core ITIL publications, this would be doing Service Strategy, defining the perspective, positions, plans and patterns that the corporate service provider needs to execute to meet its business purpose. This can allow business functions to think more deeply about the services they offer and deliver, so much more than merely the mechanics of service delivery. Service Design, it's not only the design of the services, but also the governing practices, processes and policies required to realise the business function strategy. Service design includes service catalogue management, service level management, availability management, capacity management and supplier management, which can all be applied to non-IT scenarios. Service transition. To quote ITIL, Service transition ensures that new, modified or retired services meet the expectations of the business as documented in the service strategy and service design stages of the life cycle. With change management, service asset and configuration management, service validation and testing and knowledge management all relevant to other business functions. Service operation, it's the activities and processes required to deliver and manage services at agreed levels to employees and customers. It's the ITSM processes most likely to be used in the early stages of enterprise service management adoption, such as incident management, service request fulfillment and problem management. And finally, continual service improvement, CSI, identifying and implementing improvements to services or business function operations. So that's it for this video. If you have a burning question about enterprise service management or ITSM per se, please leave it in the comments section and I'll try to answer it in future videos. Please subscribe to stay updated and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye. This week we continue with our video series on enterprise service management as we dive deeper into tips for success. So, in the next two to three minutes,